More than 300 people have been arrested after a second day of climate change protests which are blocking key roads in central London. Further action is expected today. It's all the work of a group that calls themselves Extinction Rebellion, as Ramzan Kamali reports. <laughs> These climate change protesters know exactly what they are doing. This is Extinction Rebellion, a movement with a plan to stop traffic and get as many people arrested as possible. Any regrets? No, no, none. It needs to be done. Why? Because the planet's in crisis. In London, almost 300 have been detained. They've blocked Waterloo Bridge, camped out at Marble Arch, and taken a pink boat to the middle of Oxford Circus. The police have obtained an order which means they can detain people who are blocking the roads. But demonstrators are organised and have used social media to call on people willing to be arrested for their cause. It's an awareness raising strategy that earlier in the year saw some of their members stage a naked demonstration in Parliament. That temporarily halted a Brexit debate. And a second wave of protests have started in the Scottish capital, Edinburgh. Before the arrests started to take place, the protests have been peaceful but passionate. We've got children, we've got grandchildren. We are sick with worry about what they are inheriting. We need to get the government to listen to us and start telling the truth and acting on climate change. And if the only way to do that is to get arrested, then that has to be done. But closed roads and bridges have caused traffic chaos in the capital city and commuters are fuming. They need to do it at another time and, the, you know, just don't upset London traffic because we need to keep moving the delivery. I don't like doing safety because of the traffic. Makes me hard life. But protesters believe that mass participation and civil disobedience maximises the chance of real change to policy. And they say they're willing to shut down London until April the 29th. And Extinction Rebellion says that on Wednesday it will escalate its actions and target the London underground system. Ramzan Karmali, BBC News.